Hello, uh, this question is about particle motion in fluid. Uh, the question is, a spherical particle of diameter 571 micron and density of 2600 kg per cubic meter falls freely under gravity in a fluid of density 1200 kg per cubic meter and viscosity 1 times 10 to the minus 4 pascal second. Calculate the particle terminal velocity. Assume uh, g is equal to 9.81 meter per uh, second square. Okay, to solve this question, you first need to calculate the Galileo number. So we know that the Galileo number is equal to d3g times rho s minus rho f times rho f divided by mu square. And all these parameters are given in the question. So you just need to substitute the values into this equation to calculate the Galileo number, which will be equal to the particle size 571 times 10 to the minus 6 with the power of 3 times g, that is 9.81, times rho s 2600 minus 1200, that is rho f, times 1200 divided by mu square, that is 1 times 10 to the minus 4 with the power of 2. If you do the calculation here, that will be equal to 306822. Okay? Since the Galileo number is more than 100,000, then you can use this relationship between Galileo number and the Reynolds number. That is, Galileo number will be equal to one third Reynolds number with the power of 2. Okay? And therefore, Reynolds number will be equal to a square root of 3 times Galileo number. Okay? which will be equal to S square root of 3 times 306, 822, that is the Galileo number, which will be equal to 959.4092. And that is your Reynolds number. We know that the Reynolds number, Reynolds number uh, is equal to density times D, that is the diameter, velocity divided by viscosity. Therefore, velocity, the terminal velocity, which is what is asking the question, will be equal to viscosity times Reynolds number divided by D, particle size, times density. Right? So all you need to do now is to just substitute the values into this equation and calculate Vt, which we are going to do now. Therefore, Vt will be equal to 1 times 10 to the minus 4, that is the viscosity, times Reynolds number, which you already calculated, 959.4092, divided by particle size, that is 571 times 10 to the minus 6, times density, that is 1200. And that will be equal to 0.14 meter per second. And that's the answer to this question.